All right, this is page 18, and we're looking at line 67, warm up lullaby. First thing we have to look at here is our key signature, and we have a flat on the third line, which tells us that every beat in line 67 is B flat. So we're going to go straight through this. You can back it up as many times as, as needed. <laughs> um, play it smoothing and connected. Say, say the note names and finger the first time, and then back up and play along. Here we go. I'll give you three. One, ready, now. Okay, now let's do the second four measures. Here we go. One, two, second four, now. Now let's play all the way through 67 together. Ready? Here we go. One and now. All right, keep backing that up in four measure sections and working on it and working on it all the way through. Now we're looking at line 68, Ezekiel saw the wheel. We're looking at part A. This has an anacrusis on beat four, a first ending that repeats back to the repeat dots, not the first note. Then the second time through, we skip the first ending and take the second one. First, we have to look at our key signature. It shows us that every B is B flat and every E is E flat in the whole line. So we're going to go all the way through this with the first and second endings. Uh, I'll give you three, come in on four. Here we go. Say in finger the first time, say the counts in finger, then go back and play along. One, ready, now. <laughs> All right, let's play that one more time together, all the, all the way through part A. Ready? Give you three. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, keep backing that up and going over it until you have it worked out completely. So this is part B. We're going to go all the way through this. We'll take the first ending, repeat back to the repeat sign, not the first note, and take the second ending. Look at your key signature. All B's are flat and all E's are flat. So say the note names and finger the first time, and then we'll back it up and play it and play together. Here we go. I'll give you three. One, two, three. All right, so let's play all the way through that together now, part B. Remember, you can play... Part B with the, with the recording of Part A, or Part A with the recording of Part B, and actually work the duet. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> those up and going over them until you have them completely worked out. Okay, this is line 69, rhythm time. 
Notice underneath the first note of each measure, we have an accent mark. It's a little sideways triangle. Tells us to put a little more emphasis on that note. So it would sound like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. With the accent and note having a little bit more emphasis. So let's clap and count together number 69. Here we go. One, ready, begin. One, two, three. 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 One, hold, two, hold, three. So keep backing that up and going over it and clapping and counting and putting a little bit more emphasis on the accent and notes than the others. Okay, this is number 69 rhythm time. We've already worked on the counting and clapping on this, so now we're ready to play it. It tells us to use your note F, so we're going to be playing F for every note for this line. Notice the accents. We're going to put a little bit of emphasis on that accented note. Here we go. I'll give you three. One, ready, now. <laughs> Keep backing it up and going over it and try to put just a little bit of emphasis and a little bit of space between the accent and note and the notes around it. Okay, this is line 70, Sight Reading Challenge, Streets of Laredo. First thing we have to look at on this, as in every line, is the key signature. And our key signature has a flat on the third line, which tells us that every B in this entire exercise is flat. There's no flat on the E space, so our E's are E natural all the way through. So we're going to say the note names in finger and go from the beginning until the breath mark in the first ending and stop. So let's say the note names in finger while Amelia plays. Here we go. Give you three. One, ready, now. Notice that little accent on the first note of each measure there where the accent marks are. Now, in this piece, that repeats back to the beginning, and we take the second ending. Let's look at that second ending. We have A, E, E, F. Let's play that together, just a second ending. Ready? One, ready, now. <laughs> Okay, now that we've played this in sections, we're ready to go all the way through it. So keep backing it up and working it out until you've got that worked out and you're ready to put it together. So let's play all the way through 70 together now. Taking the first ending, going back to the beginning, skipping the first ending, and taking the second ending the second time through. Here we go. I'll give you three. Check the key signature. One, ready, now. <laughs> So keep backing it up and going over it. Okay, we're looking at number 71, Skill Builder, Donkey Riding. First thing we have to look at is our key signature, which tells us that every B is flat and every E is flat. If we notice the first two measures and the fifth and sixth measures are exactly the same, and the third and fourth measure and the last two are pretty close. So we're just going to go straight through this. So we're going to play, Amelia's going to play it. You need to count and finger and then back the video up and then play along. One, two, ready, now. <laughs> Back that up and play along with the video. Say the counts while you finger until you have it worked out completely. 
Okay, now we're looking at 72, theme from the Nutcracker. This is, a, this is normally a test line, so we're going to spend a little extra time on it. First thing we have to look at here is our key signature. Uh, we have a B flat on the middle line that tells us every note named B is flat. Then an E flat on the fourth space that tells us that every E is flat. It doesn't matter if it's on that fourth space or if it's on the first line. It's still E flat. So we're going to look at the first four measures. We're going to go through it with Amelia playing, saying the note names and fingering. Then you can count and finger and then play along. So let's let's go through these first four measures. I'll give you I'll give you four. Here we go. One and two and ready now. <laughs> Okay, let's back up and keep backing up and going over that, saying and fingering and playing along. Now let's look at the last four measures. We're using the low notes here, the dark notes, and notice that measure repeat in the sixth measure tells us to play in the sixth measure what was in the fifth measure. So we just play the fifth measure twice. So count and finger and then, and then play along. Here we go, last four measures. Ready and go and Okay, keep backing that up and going through it. Say it and finger it and play along. Now we're ready to go all the way through number 72. Check your key signature one more time. All B's are flat and all E's are flat. Here we go. One, two, ready, now. Okay, back that up, uh, finger and count and play along as many times as you need to to have that ready for a test. Okay, this is number 73, Horn Private Lesson. We're gonna look at this in four measure sections, noticing that there's nothing in our key signature, so that means all of our Bs are B natural second vowel, all of our Es are open, so there's no flats. So let's look at the first four measures, uh, say the note names and finger while Amelia plays. Here we go. One. Two, ready, now. Okay, keep backing that up and going over until you can smoothly go between those slurred notes in the third and fourth measure. Now let's look at the last four measures. <clears throat> we'll say the note names and finger and then go back and play along. Here we go. One, two, Ready, now. We can go over that several times, saying and fingering and playing along. Now let's go all the way through number 73. Remember, no key signature. All B's are natural. All E's are natural. One, two, here we go. Okay, keep backing that up and playing it until you can play it smooth without any cracks or missed notes. 